was born in Cape Town. I grew up in Mitchell's Plain. I went to school in Mitchell's Plain as well. Growing up, uh, I sort of got my musical talent from my dad. He used to sing in top 40 cover bands back in his day and do the club scene. So he was into music, he was into the jazz and into gospel music. And that's where I sort of got into jazz by listening to all his, his albums. He also played a little bit of guitar and bass. So that's how I sort of got into music. I started out in the Cape Town music scene when I was about 14, 15. And my dad used to take me to jam sessions. As a bass player, you, you're never out of work. So there's always a lot of people that can use you. And as long as you know what notes to play and you can keep the form. So I started getting booked by a lot of cats in the scene. Uh, and so I started like playing a lot of music from a very young age, learning a lot of standards, learning jazz, learning from, from older cats like Alvin Dias, Mark Franzmann. My music is inspired by people. It's an experience that I want people to feel. Uh, and so people inspire me, uh, the way they feel about life, the way they feel at that point in time, and I can change that for them. That's always great for me, and I, I live inspired by leaving them inspired, I guess. When it comes to musical influences, I like to draw from a lot of things. Uh, I like to be open to a lot of different sounds. Also being a bassist and a, like a session musician in the scene, I get to play a lot of genres. And that's sort of where I draw my influences from, uh, whether it's hip hop or electronic or pop. I look forward to the future. I'd really like to keep on uh, playing my music writing music, inspiring others and touring, and definitely collaborating with a lot of artists in the future, especially South African artists. Getting this award is, is sort of cool for me because when I was younger, I, I, I was in the, in the Standard Bank Youth Band in Gramstown and I always looked up to the young artists, you know, who's the young artist going to be? And now this happening, I think it's sort of a full circle moment for me. I'm very grateful to, to be sitting here. There's a saying by Duke Ellington, there's only two kinds of music, it's either good or bad. I like good music, you know. I will now have a, a bigger platform to, to be creative and, and do my music. I'm also at the stage where I'm trying to reinvent myself. This next year is going to be a great opportunity for me to do that. Be brave and don't be afraid of who you are, especially as an artist, and don't be afraid to incorporate that in your, in your art. Um, I think people appreciate that honesty.